Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video, I'm going to open up one of these Evolving Skies Elite Trainer boxes like I was talking about in the previous video. And <clears throat> I did sell out of the ones that I had for sale with the additional discount on eBay. Uh, I did have some that were left over that had these rips in them. And actually, I do still have some of these that I put back up for sale that I was setting back for investment. It was just a couple of cases. They are a little bit more expensive because like I said, they were more set aside from our personal collection. Same thing with the booster boxes. So if you did miss out on those, um, I do have them available. They are a little bit more expensive though. However, I'm sure you guys have already seen the Elite Trainers, they've completely held their price. They were already pretty high. And then the booster boxes, um, they had dipped below uh, MSRP, but now they're back above, and I think it'll be like that most likely until the next wave hits in late September, in which they may even see a small increase between now and then. So I'm confident in the prices that I have on those, although, I, like I said, they are a little bit higher than uh, the sale price that I did offer. So for those of you who did jump in on the deal right there at the beginning, um, congrats on that. But so this is a, and I, this is what I was talking about when I was saying some of them come ripped straight out of the out of the case, and I, I realize some of you, many of you who do buy, are probably going to open up anyways. But just in case, I know that there are a lot of people who do collect the sealed. Uh, elite trainers and different things like that. I try to pull out any that I see that are damaged or you know that I would be satisfied with myself if I knew that I was trying to collect that for um, personal reasons. Well, to keep it sealed for personal like collection reasons. So if I can, I don't know if I'm able to show this, but I can't remember what set they started doing this in. I know they've been doing it at least since X and Y. Got Sylveon there, got an Umbreon. I still don't know what that is. Is that a stack attack? No, it can't be a stack attack. It's got to be something else. And then there's the Rayquaza. Rayquaza, Rayquaza. Fortunately, it is still cardboard, and I end up throwing that away. And then we have the player's guide. I used to save these. People like to buy them. I don't know if they still do anymore. They sold so slowly that um, I ended up just having to trash them. Last box, I think we pulled, it was the Vaporeon VMAX right there. Pulled the Gyarados VMAX in the first one. I can't remember if it was, it was Espeon. I think it was Espeon VMAX. Then we had that Flareon full art. Let's see if we can get some of those uh, alternate arcs. There we go. Duraludon VMAX. That's the other one. I've seen a lot of people uh, from those booster boxes I sent out full miscuts. Which one person pulled the Umbreon and the Rayquaza alternate art. Both of them miscut from the same box, which is pretty insane. We had the Xenia's Resolve, if I remember correctly. So there's all the cards. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it was that one and that one. Those were the two. So it looks like for the alternate arts, there's a Leafeon, a Glaceon, Sylveon, Umbreon, Rayquaza, and then Duraludon. I don't know if there's any more. I don't know if these are considered alternate arts or not. Maybe that one is, that one is, the Umbreon V. Maybe we'll pull something cool like that. All right, so let's get into the actual opening. Consider talk all day about Pokemon anyways. In general, I'm actually not very talkative whatsoever. There's the Pokemon rules. Got your eight booster packs. Pack of energies, a code. There are the sleeves. Matches up with the elite trainer. I used to bust all the elite trainers and part them out because there was no money in selling elite trainers. Of course, that has changed nowadays. But you used to buy them for like 23 from distributors, and then you could sell them for 30, and then you'd lose eight dollars in shipping. So it was no point in it. So you just break them down. Nowadays, you know, you can actually get MSRP or higher. And this in this case, it was about 65 which I was selling them for right at $60, which is probably why they sold out in less than a day. All right, so a Drowsy, Scraggy, Bagon, Woobat, Timpole, there's a Reverse Hollow, Stormy Mountains, Shellgon, Digging Gloves, there's the Energy, and then our rare is Appleton. So Judd on the first one. I didn't realize the Roaring Skies booster pack, or not Roaring Skies, every time I see the set I think Roaring Skies, the Evolving Skies, I didn't realize uh, these had sold out on my website, so I did restock some uh, packs of four for those of you who are looking for those. 
Gossifleur, good pot of toss. Got a Teddy Ursa and a Lilligant. 0 for 2. Lots of auctions ending over the next, well, I think they start tomorrow night, or they start ending tomorrow night. And then um, for the next four or five days, they'll be ending. Ooh, reverse Hollow Pumpkin Boo. That used to be a big card in Phantom Forces. And then we have a Hollow Jumpla, which is kind of cool because this code card, I didn't show it to you, but it was actually a non-white code card. I had someone try to return, well, actually, they, they succeeded in returning something to me where they had bought two collection boxes, four packs in each, and um, the uh, the white code cards had non-hollows and the green code cards had hollows so they were they basically said they were resealed even though they hit five out of eight packs which was crazy. Got the Hypno and a Wishy Washy. Looks like all of these packs are just straight green code. So I guess it doesn't matter if I show it to you. One, two, three, four. Boldor, Lotad, Sableye, Teddy Ursa, Zerua, and uh, there we go. Got a hollow Raichu. Maybe the white code cards will only be with ultra rares. That'd be cool. Got a green code card. So far, nothing really that great in this box or in this Elite Trainer. If that's the case, uh, I still have some Chilling Rain packs off to the side. I'm going to reverse all the Pikachu and a Seismitoad. Um, I'll just grab some of these packs and we'll open them until we do get something kind of cool. One, two, three, four. Which I had someone reach out to me and said they uh, opened up a box and I had two regular Vs. That was it. It's like, wow. Got another Hollow. Hollow Zygarde. So we are hit three Hollows and four non-Hollows. But no V's or ultras or anything like that so far. Last pack to do so if we're gonna hit one though. Oh, and we do, we get an Espeon V Max. All of the code cards were green. So I'm gonna get a sleeve for this one. Probably grade this one in time. Who knows how long it'll be though, because it's definitely not worth three hundred dollars to grade. Almost has like this little mat. Backside. <clears throat> Very cool. Hit a full art V Max last pack. Well, I know I said that, you know, if we hit something, then it'd be good. But I'm going to go ahead and open up some of these Chilling Rain packs. We'll open up a, an art set. There we go. We'll open up five packs. This is the same box we hit that Snorlax in, which I didn't realize that card was so expensive. At the time, I didn't anyways. But I recently saw that PSA 10 go for near $1,000, which is kind of crazy. In my opinion, anyways. But then again, it's Snorlax and there's a gold one. So that's pretty cool. Brawly. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a Metagross V. So at least we hit another one. Got three more packs to go. Same ring. Peony, Peonia, Peonia, <laughs> Scully Peed. Next pack for Chilling Rain. One, two, three, four. There's a Lydian. Don't see that one printed too much. That kind of reminds me of the Pop Series 2 Gallade. I think it was, no, Pop Series 7. The number was 2, I think. I think it was 2 out of 17. All right, and the last pack for the video, can we finish strong with Chilling Rain as we did with the uh, Evolving Skies? Rugged Helmet, and no, we do not. We have a Bennett. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I know it was just a few packs from Evolving Skies, but I want to talk with you guys just for a little bit. And um, if you're looking for anything in particular, don't hesitate, reach out. I might have it set back somewhere. But otherwise, y'all have a good day.